The team had a tough season last year, but as soon as I met the, the guys on the postseason test, I knew they had a lot of potential. I think from day one, we just really connected pretty well. We saw the potential in each other, like I saw on the team, the team saw on me. And from there, we just kept working uh, yeah, really, really hard, just really just trying different things because we know we don't have anything to lose. The black line was the white line. No, it was no. not. Yeah. <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the red and white curb has not changed in width. Yes, yes it is. No. Look how thin it is. It was never like this. It's really thin. It's thinner, yes. <laughs> I just admit it, mate. <laughs> Being in a championship lead, all it does is it means that at the moment I have the most points, but you know, the Formula 2 champion is the guy who has the most points after 14 rounds, not after 5 rounds. So in that sense, this position in a way has no meaning to me and doesn't change my approach. I'm feeling great, man. Happy to be in Spain, in Barcelona. Speak after quali, but uh, I feel uh, I feel it's going to be a good weekend. Marty, here we are in Barcelona. Home race for you. How excited are you ahead of this weekend? Yeah, crazy excited. I couldn't have a more home race than this. You know, I live 20 minutes out, live in, in Barcelona centre. Yesterday, I could have genuinely walked down to Plaza Catalunya to do, to do the, the fan zone. So, yeah, it just feels it's home. So, uh, it, it feels different to anything else. For sure, our performance was still okay in the first couple of rounds. I got a uh, reverse pole in Bahrain, which was ended up to be P2. But for my first showing in a qualifying, it was still still okay. Of course, we knew that the in-season test was going to be our chance to really turn things around because we didn't really have a good chance to prepare, of course. Obviously, the two races after this test have been very positive. We're all in a bit of a forward momentum right now, so I hope to continue that for the rest of the season. And I think everyone is in the same mindset in that kind of, in that sense, so it's definitely looking okay. If I was to look at myself two years ago, and even say that I'm driving Formula 3, that would be absolutely amazing. I got obviously the call to do F2 very late, and it was just one of them decisions in my life where I had to say, okay, if I don't take my opportunity now, maybe I will never get it. It's just one of them opportunities that you have to take, and, you know, preparation or not, I think we will still do a good job this year. If you'll tell me, before I started with Formula 4 that I would be driving F2, I would be like, you know, I, I don't know if I would believe it. Paraguay, of course, it's a small country, like we have 7 million people. And the whole country have only one go-kart track, which is 600 meters long, and a racetrack, which we barely use. So for me, doing this step was something really special because I was the first Paraguayan after 30 years to even race in Europe again, to go then to another country with 15 years old. And then to be able to make this happen, Formula 4, Freca, and now F2, and literally just smelling already the air of Formula 1. I would never imagine I would be actually racing on the same track, same weekend, with Formula 1 together, on the same tracks, with these crazy cars, which are extremely quick. There's always fine margins here, especially in qualifying. You see, throughout the last couple of years, there's there's always been a very small gap between first and tenth, for example. The key is going to be to get everything at the right point in qualifying, uh, get everything right on that one lap. You know, qualifying always shapes the, the rest of the weekend, so I think that's going to be the most important part of the weekend, to have a good, strong qualifying. I think our race pace is strong, so even if the qualifying doesn't go as planned, I think we can still get some good points from the race, but of course, qualifying does, does take a big part, so all focus is on qualifying for now, and. I, I hope we can do a good job. Okay, it's red flag, red flag. I crashed, sorry. All fine with you? Yeah. It's a big snap of oversteer then, in the middle of the corner for Barnard. I do just think he's maybe just overestimated the grip level with the change in wind direction. And that means he'll start both races from the back of the grid. And we get ready for, for the push. Oh, that's nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, that's good job. Nice, guys. Good job, really good job. Just for info, so we are two tenths from P1. Uh, it's very, very tight in the front. The top uh, three is in uh, six thousands. Wow, that's tight. Wow. 
I was like, if I lose the poll for that, I was watching the times. <laughs> zero, 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 all the guys. <laughs> anyway, well done. Proper. How's that? Hey. Oh, that was great, to be honest. Uh, I mean, seeing myself on the table P3 in the moment, that was really cool. I mean, dropped to P7, but still really happy with the job. Like, soft tires, just one lap. Uh, you need to get it all in, so that was good. I'm happy with it. You know, I was already P1 in practice in Imola. Didn't get the quali. Was close in Monaco. Didn't get it. It's mine now. Honestly, I'm not sure because, you know, it happens all so quickly. I think it was just a tailwind, to be honest. I missed a little bit the corner. Mm, nothing really, not a really huge mistake. Obviously, a little bit frustrating. I think I've just got to apologise to the team, you know, and that's it. We always have to look at the positives in this kind of situation and points are still not, still not out of the equation. So obviously I'll do my best and, and see what we can do. I think a podium should be in the cards tomorrow and then coming back still from P8, hopefully to a second podium on Sunday would be nice. But uh, honestly, just really proud of the team because we've been working really, really hard. Quite messy, but it's, it's important that we watch this because we'll get, I mean, not really an understanding, but it's just nice to see how the racing plans out. So. I think it reflects very much what AIX is standing for, to give the opportunity to put trust in people. We create the platform. We want to give the people tools that they can grow and go further. In our case, that would be Formula One. And that is where we take our energy from, is that actually Already our first few initiatives bring fruit and bring lap times. In the end, it's a game about lap times and how much points you got on the score list. So yes, we have room for improvement, but with the two rookies, I think a structured work approach shows that you can do it. You know, having Victor there on the front row with me, it's always fun. Uh, you know, we're both not where we want to be, but uh, you know, we're going to have some fun this morning. So hopefully it's an uneventful race from my side. Uh, you always hope for that, but you just never know. Yeah, it can be quite critical at, at some point. So of course, to uh, as you said at the beginning, to remind all the procedures. The lap one will be always uh, always critical. Uh, but uh, yeah, we prepare it to to be leading at turn one, of course. But uh, let's hope we will have a good fight. I don't think I've yet really thought about the fact that you know last time I was in an F2 podium was 2019. It'll hit me a bit later. Feels good to be back on the podium where I feel I should be. How's that feel? Good. I think it's the start of our season. Happy for the team, happy for myself. First podium since returning to Formula 2 full-time last year. How special does it feel to stand out there? It's nice. How old the, I know it didn't do it. No, this is not... Uh, maybe. Is this the oldest? No, it's impossible. No, it's impossible. Maybe we are older than we think. But that's really sad. I think it's time that so we move. Uh, not for chasing the dream. Do it. <laughs> Wait, that's really sad. <laughs> chasing the <Shit>. pension fund. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's... quite good. I mean, it was quite hot for the race. Uh, sprint race done. I started 14th, finished 14th. So, no, no big changes. <laughs> this is a typical food of Paraguay. It's called chipa. It's the best. It's, I'll eat it today. <laughs> it's a shame. It was, it was unexpected and uh, I think more than half of the grid got a penalty for it. So. But that's, that's a different issue. 
I think the bigger shame for me is uh, just losing a few points, which uh, can be important in the championship. But uh, today we start for P8. We can we can still do some good points for the weekend. And as you said, I think it's the start of of a few more podiums uh, in, in the next few races. So we're looking good. Uh, it's great that uh, Juan got to do the honors on the podium, obviously, because uh, it's got a bit of history. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just another one uh, to my stats, isn't it, this year? <laughs> I'm ready, yes. There's a little bit of drizzle, not much. It's, it's unpredictable, so it's kind of what I need starting from the back. And the F2 feature is go! Our pole sitter got off the line nicely. That's not the case for Crawford. Big crash involving our winner from yesterday. Hauger off the road, and off goes Victor Martins, who's beached in the gravel. As you have the AIX looking down the outside. And there's the move from Joshua Dirksen. He's up to fifth place. Got a car stop, that's Taylor Barnard. Off the road, Aaron, our pole sitter, chasing down the net race lead. Dirksen from the race lead. He was the lead driver on the alternative strategy. Oh, come on. Oh, no. From Charlotte, North Carolina, Crawford, for just the second time in Formula 2, will take the chequered flag and claim victory. What the f*** are you doing, man? Yes, come on! do it! And what a story for Juan Manuel Correa, who will get on the podium again, and this time it's for keeps. Honestly, it's amazing. Double podium for the team. It's huge. Our season in the last three rounds has not been going well. It's just been one of those weekends for me, unfortunately. It happens. Incredible experience, first of all, just to have both of us. It's, it's huge for the team. No one gets left out. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been a, a good end to the weekend. No, Yesterday was tough, I think. Very proud of the team, they have done an amazing job and I had a very quick car all weekend so I'm just you know very grateful for that. It's like this, it's the dynamic of motorsport, you know. One day you can be P1, the next day things kinda work for you. I was really, really sure that we would get the win and this would have been so special for me, you know, like rookie season, not even half of the season yet, and get my first win. And the team just growing race by race. It would have been a really nice reward. It's a perfect start to this uh, this long stretch of races and just the momentum and the confidence not only in me but the team with their decisions on the car and stuff, it's, it's huge.